people hold back from getting fit because they feel self-conscious about their body and so want to find an activity that they can do it on their own, maybe at home. So in our fitness section next, we will show you how to tone up your biceps, triceps and overall body muscles. So when we talk about arms, okay, there are three or four muscles involved. The first one is biceps, which is the muscle right here in front of your arm. The second one is triceps, which is the muscle back here. Okay. Then we have shoulders, you know, right here. And a little bit of back, I think, can come because depending upon, you know, what you wear, if you wear a blackless blouse or if you wear a halter yeah, top, exactly. I think your back, your upper back also constitutes the whole, you know, look of the arm. So there are different exercises for all these different muscles. So I think we should, we can start with biceps first. So for the first exercise we're going to do is for your biceps, which okay. is this muscle right here. These are all the biceps. Yeah, right here. Okay. Biceps. So she's, what she's doing right now is a bicep curl. It's a full range of motion. Your elbows, you can see her elbows are tucked in right at the waist. Okay. She's going all the way down, almost to the point of touching her thighs and all the way up till she touches her shoulders. Okay. So it's a full range of motion. This is called a bicep curl. Okay. So how many times do you have to do this? Ideally, when you do this, it's about 15, depending upon what kind of weight you're using. Okay. okay if it's a lighter weight, 20 reps. Right. And you do it two times, two sets. Okay. okay. I'll show you another um, one to work on your biceps, which is called a hammer curl. In this case, her palms will be facing inside and the range of motion is the same. She's going to go all the way up. Okay. And all the way down. The first time, your palms were facing up to the ceiling for a bicep curl. This is a hammer curl, okay? So it's like the, the way you would hit a hammer, the movement, which is why it's called a hammer curl, okay? Then I'm gonna take one weight from Glassy. We are gonna do a tricep overhead. Now we're moving on to the next muscle, which is the muscle here, which is what most women complain that, oh, you know, my muscles are not tight and things right. like that. So she's gonna go all the way up and down, okay? Your arm is very close to your head. So are we working on the tricep now? Yes. We are working on the tricep. Her arm is very close to her head. It's a full range of motion. The weight goes down all the way down to her neck and all the way up. Okay, so this is one of the tricep exercises. You do 15 or 20 on this side and then you do 15 or 20 on that side. That constitutes of one set. Okay. You know, and then you can do exactly the same again for the second set. So do you really see wonders on your triceps, biceps and... Absolutely. See, because the arm is, there's lots to our arm, you know, there's biceps, there's triceps. You can't just say, I want to work on my arms. There are different muscles that constitute okay. our arm. Yeah. So the second exercise that I'm going to show is something you can do at home. We're doing tricep dips. You don't need weights, okay? So we're going to keep the weights on the side. Glaffy is going to sit on the mat, okay? Her hands are going to be behind her. Fingers, you know, very close to your glutes, okay? So whenever we are doing any of this exercise, we have to be very careful how we keep our uh, form, hands absolutely. and the form should be perfect. Form should be perfect. If not, it's an injury waiting to happen. Okay. One of the things we concentrate here every single time is form. Okay. You know? So you shouldn't forget your form. No, absolutely. So your fingers are pointing towards your glutes. Okay. Now the key is to raise yourself up and then bend your arms. It's not where you're just lifting your butt up and down. Your arms are bending, so you're actually working your tries. Exactly. So, the two exercises, the a tricep overhead and the tricep dips, were for the triceps. Now, shoulders, okay? Shoulders actually are a huge part of how women will look in strapless dresses or, you know, off-shoulder dresses, also, you know, halter tops, because if you have you know, what people can sometimes describe as bony shoulders. Right. It's not necessarily bony shoulders, it's just muscular shoulders. Mm -hmm. You know, where your fat is more not visible on your shoulders as much. And only bones are to be seen. And, yeah, <laughs> and only muscle and bones are to be seen. <laughs> so, the first one that we're going to do is um, upright rows, okay? Raise the weights up all the way to your shoulder and down. If you notice, the elbows are going straight out so this, when she holds, is parallel to the ground, okay? So you raise them up 
and down and the same here this helps you to tone up your body as well oh. yeah and um, you know you can do it 20 times and um, do two sets of each so this is a really good one for shoulder and then a very traditional one that's been used over and over again is a shoulder press. You can sit on a ball, you can sit on uh, you know, a chair and do it. It's basically, you start up, but form is key here, okay? It's called a military shoulder press or a shoulder press. Okay, so you take the weights all the way up, you touch them together, okay? And when you get them down, you need to stop where your arms are parallel to the floor. Okay. It's our tendency to bring the weights all the way down, but that's basically getting a rest for your shoulders and you don't need to rest in between. So it's taking it up, touching it, and bringing it down where you stop where your arms are parallel okay. to the floor. Our shoulders, by virtue of being women, are very weak. Shoulders and triceps. So you can ask Glaffy, is this a tough exercise, Glaffy? Mm -hmm. It is very, very painful. painful. It really, I mean, it completely isolates your shoulders. There is a modification to this, where it's not as bad and it's called the Arnold shoulder press. Arnold have, shoulder press. Yeah, have you done an Arnold shoulder press? Okay, so in that case, I want her to stand with the weights, with the palms facing towards her, okay? And she's gonna raise it up and while raising it up, she's gonna turn her palms outward. Yeah, and then back down again, palms facing you. When, when you lift weights, what's happening is your muscles are tearing, oh. okay? And that's why they say you should never do exercises so that gives way back difference. to back. Yeah, it takes 24 hours for your muscles to heal, then they rebuild. Okay. The rebuilding of muscles is what makes them stronger. Okay. And you build muscles, you know, rather than, and it burns down the fat and it really helps tone it up. You've covered the biceps, the triceps, the shoulders, yeah. and then I will show one exercise for the back. Okay. Yeah, okay. not the lower back, but the upper back. Okay which kind of involves, you know, it's the same area where, you know, can I wear a sleeveless dress, can I wear a halter neck, halter neck? can I wear a backless blouse, and especially the backless blouses, you know, because they're fabulous, I mean, exactly. blouses that women in Goa wear, you know, and if, if you have a shapely back, I think it just... So, Glaffy is going to do a, a double dumbbell rowing, okay. that's what it's called, okay? Slight bend in her knees to take the pressure off her back, okay, slight arch forward, and she's going to pull the weights back all the way and in front. Okay, so this is called a double dumbbell row. You pull them back and drop front. So the area it targets is this area right between the shoulder blades, the upper back. So this too, the exact same thing. 20 reps, two sets. You know, if, you're, if two sets are getting too easy and you can do it very quickly, okay, yeah, you can go up to three sets as well. That is after bending your knees a little bit down. Yeah, slight and bend in the knees. Feet are shoulder width apart. Okay. okay, and then you pull them back. There is one more thing that, you know, I people ask me if there's one exercise I could do for upper body that involves your biceps, triceps, you know, chest shoulders. and shoulders, what would it be? And that's a push-up. Okay, but it's on the feet. So key That's great is, to know that even women can do the men push-ups. Ab strong <laughs> women can. There's nothing that we can't do. <laughs> okay, so she's going to go down all the way. Her elbows are coming out and she's going to push herself up. These are tough. Okay, all the way down. So if people have never done push-ups, I wouldn't advise them to start off with these, okay? okay? And I'll have her do three and stop. Perfect, Glaffy, thank you. So your, if your, her palms were directly underneath her shoulder, Okay. Okay. And and basically your body is at in one line. Mm -hmm. There is no dip or anything. Right. And your whole body is going down and up. Your chest is going as close to the mat as possible and up. So that's a push up. Targets everything. It targets your primarily your chest okay. and uh, triceps, biceps and shoulders. Um, so these things shouldn't be like 20 times or 15 times. This thing is whatever you can do. Yeah. Some people may be able to do 10, capacity. exactly. Some people can do 20, some people can do 3 sets of 20. Okay. So it's based on whatever, however strong you are. A modified version of the push-up, which most women should be able to do, is, um, you know, the knees are touching the mat. You know, the first push-up, the yep. knees were not touching the mat. What I don't want happening is, uh, Glaffy, can you come up and square your butt and show? I'll show what is not the right form. 
see this, you form a right angle. Yes. This is not the right form okay. for a push up. I want her to move further down where it's one straight line. Her shoulders and her the knees are line. in one straight line. Yeah. And then go down and up. These are tough as well. It's not like every person will be able to do them. But it's a start before you can do the other Maybe push up. Maybe you should not get uh, any pressure on her knees. Which is, Let, think, let's uh, ask her. Any pressure on your knees? No, not at all. It's all her upper body. Okay. So the entire exercise is upper body. So these are modified push-ups. So if you had to do one exercise for um, you know your upper body, it would be push-ups. Yeah. And earlier, you know, last time when we talked about the core, right. if you had to pick one exercise for the core, it would be the plank. Health tips. Have green tea daily to boost your metabolism and speed up fat oxidation. It is also rich in antioxidants which prevents degenerative diseases. Make sure you work out seriously. Next week we will get you more. And as always, don't miss any episode of Fashionista. And write into me at greta at prudentmedia.in. Till then, take care and mwah.